A story about my travels in Belgrade, Serbia, a place that exceeded all of my expectations and surprised me in the most wonderful of ways. A place where I ate delicious food and met life-changing people. Simplify your life. Don't sweat the small stuff. A place so full of rich history, turbulence, but with a population which has remained warm, happy and full of life. I love my time here and I want to share with you all of the memories I made in just a couple of days. Hello everybody and welcome to Belgrade, Serbia. We have just checked into our hostel which is called what, Jo? Up accommodation. Up accommodation. Uh, oh. Yeah, sorry, I up. say up. No, up. not up. Up accommodation. Up. Now that we've all checked in, we've caught the bus here, we've had some showers, we've gotten ready, I'm ready to start this vlog. Start exploring Belgrade. It's about 4.30 now and we're just heading out. No real plan, but we're going to see where the afternoon, evening kind of takes us. And I'm feeling a lot better today, which is... um. Very good news. Abby feels like shit. She's been blowing her nose like a fog horn all morning. Not fully recovered. Going to the pharmacy is on the list. All right, let's go. Whoa, it's funny. Just for the fuck. We're lost. No, it's not in the EU. Not in the EU. Also, on phone contracts, it is not counted as euro. Hence why we have no mobile data. Oh. I was running into a pole that was retarded. Yeah, so we have no like data. No phone service. We just wander aimlessly. We hope to find some currency converter. Yeah. So it's day two. We are just making a bit of a trek to the station because we're going to try to figure out some train or bus tickets to get to Sofia in two days time and it's pretty hot already. Sweaty. Gemma's money, everyone look at her pin number, too late. Amber, what do you think the vibes are so far for the Belgrade? Vibes. Yeah, give us a rundown. Okay, so we're in Belgrade, or as the locals would say, Beograd. 24 hours in and we're local. It's nice, it's different, it already feels quite far east. You can kind of see the juxtaposition of like the West's influence, but then also still with a lot of architecture and buildings, so I'm not going to name drop. Cut. <laughs> Top tip of Serbia, never stand on any kind of drainage cover. Why I think it fell through one. Yesterday, we saw Gemma drop and it was cracked. And if we stood on it, we'd have gone through. Shit. Don't step on them, they are not secure. So unfortunately, we failed to find the train station and get our tickets for Sofia. But we ended up just wandering around the city where we began to appreciate just how amazing this place actually is. And if we don't like it, we're starving. What can you do? Excuse this horrendous angle, but it's the best we can do right now. I am just about to try this traditional cheese pie, which is one of the main dishes in Serbia. Serbians usually eat them for breakfast and it's like 1.30, so it's pretty much brunch. Here goes, Amber said it's yum. Let's see. Amazing. If you guys come to Serbia, you have to try this pie. But anyway, we're gonna eat. We have finished the pastries. It is so hot. Excuse my terrible vlogging skills right now, but we have come to some NATO bombing ruins, literally staring at them right now. They seem to be just fully intact and fully intact and just like 
kind of a part of the city now. Like there are new buildings all around and you just have these ruins. NATO did this in 1999 during the Yugoslav Wars. Killed 14 civilians, this bombing. So, I mean, the Yugoslav Wars was just a general massive fuck up for the EU and for NATO. And this is very much living Like the remnants yeah. of it. Oh, there's a giant panda. Oh shit, what's it called? We've just come to the main castle attraction thing. Yeah, the fortress, that's the one. Fun fact, we have noticed a lot of vendors are selling t-shirts with um, Putin's face on them. <laughs> And um, I think we have a lot to say about that, but not the time or the place right now. That's yeah. the vibe in the park so far. Vladimir just popping in for a visit. Not even. Whoa, blinding. All right, guys, so we have come to what we believe is the best seat in the house. Earlier, we bought some Serbian desserts, which kind of look like lemmingtons. If you're Australian, you know, so I really wanted to grab them and not only try traditional Serbian food, but also like hopefully it's a little taste of home. I will let you know. But look at this view, guys. It is, well, the sun's blocking it, but overlooking the whole city. Very cool. guys, Amber and I are up super bright and early, I mean like 10 a.m. We are going on a walking tour which is one of my absolute favorite ways to explore a new city. We've just stopped off at a cafe and we're gonna grab some coffees despite the fact that we're running super late. Cappuccino, mi amore. Now I take the How do you say hello in French, Amber? Cuckoo. <laughs> what are you rating the walking tour on a scale of one to ten? Ten. ten I love out of this 10. guy. Yeah. He's so informative. He's got so many specific dates going on, giving us the entire rundown, epic history. Yeah. Lovely fella. Do we want to get hit by a car? <laughs> one of the things I found most interesting to learn about was the historical influences so present and visually represented through the architecture. It was an absolute fountain of knowledge. This is our new friend Tom. He's in our hostel, 74 years old, <laughs> traveling the world, an absolute legend of a person. Tom, what did you think of the tour? It was pretty good. He was very informative. Better than some of the walking yeah, tours I've done. Yeah, but I feel like pretty expertise now in the <laughs> Serbian history. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go get some street food for lunch. And um, yeah, we're starving. Yes. Struggle, struggle street. While we were eating lunch, I sat down to talk to Tom, which ended up being one of the most inspiring conversations I've ever had. I realized that to fall in love with a place, it's often about the people you meet, the wisdom they share, and the wonderful times you pass together. So we're being recorded, huh? You ought to be in movies. You ought to be a star. What I'm do we reckon? Much needed. I'm a big foodie. Me too. I mean, all my travels in the world are always about the food. That's grease from this. I just oh, went like that. Look at that. Grease. And what did we just say about health is wealth? <laughs> <laughs> do it in moderation. You can get away with a lot. 
Oh, mentioning food, another shout out to Italy. I loved Italy. And the food is different from one end of the country to the other. That's another thing I eliminated from my life is stress. When I retired, I adopted the KISS principle. Okay. Have you heard of that, the KISS? No. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> it's amazing. It works wonders. Simplify your life. You get rid of a lot of stress that way. Don't sweat the small stuff. Many people live very stressful lives, especially in the U.S. They're caught up in the rat race. I lived it. I know what it's like. I think this nomadic life that you're living is um, a much better choice. I think so, too. <laughs> a liberating feeling. But see, I'm a very curious person. Mm -hmm. Part of being a Virgo. Mm. And uh, so I love discovering cultures, people, the history, the food, the whole nine yards. For me, it keeps life interesting. I see way too many people bored out of their minds. They don't know what to do. I go back to my hometown. Not that I do it much anymore. But people I grew up with still living in the same town. They're like a museum to me. Go out in the world and discover there's a big world out there. I like your independent streak. You got your own business. Mm -hmm. And being a teacher. We are on this vintage bus. I'd either be in a wheelchair. It's like on a wire. The first got on, the bus might have to get off. Got on some big ripple gloves and had to like re attach the wire. Oh, I'm assuming. You can hear the bus. At first, we were just going to fall apart. Going up a hill now, so wish us luck. Success. We're going to Nice tomorrow. All right, so we just ran for the bus. We've got our bus ticket. No, train. our train. Why do I keep saying we that? We finally got the train, but we, we had to compromise. Yeah, our next leg of the journey is to go to Sofia in Bulgaria because we're going to Istanbul. That's the destination. And um, we've had to compromise and purchase our train tickets to go to Nice, which is Nish. a niche. Mish, which is another Serbian city in um, the south, apparently is kind of like a business orientated city. And so far, like we have absolutely loved Serbia, so we are not at all disappointed about getting to spend another night in this country. Now we're going to head to explore the largest Orthodox church in Europe, which just so happens to be in Belgrade. So we made it to the Orthodox Church. It is so freaking big. Can you see from the video? Um, wow. I've never seen something so tall in my life. I just can't believe how big it is. Like, it's just... That's what she said. It's... Oh, shit. Did you see that pigeon? Okay. Whoa. Wow. That is... Freaking unreal. You just can't even see in the camera. Like, it is so, so incredibly big. Holy cow. Another wow moment in Serbia. Finally getting a milkshake. <laughs> Finally on to a tram. We've done like every single thing that 
I wanted to do today and finally it's Amber's turn. We're jumping on a tram and fulfilling her Serbian dream. <laughs> It's the best compliment, it's the best compliment. That is the only question we've asked ourselves while being in Serbia. <laughs> so, because Amber was so excited about getting on the tram, we, she just jumped on the first one and got us on the wrong number. <laughs> so, now we lucky we realized because we're like, oh, what do you think that building, I can't even talk, there's no point in vlogging. She's like, what do you think that building is? And I was like, I don't know, check on the map. She checked and she's like, oh, I think we're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> so we're going to take two. You can tell that we're one team member down today because what do you think just happened again? <laughs> we <laughs> missed our stop. <laughs> You're such a mess. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're keen to keep up with all our adventures in the east of Europe. In the next video, we're supposed to be going to Sofia in Bulgaria, but things don't exactly go to plan. So I'll see you in that video. Bye. On a scale of one to 10, how happy are you? <laughs>